Our play-by-play -play man tonight, Ryan Rucco is there. Ryan, KD did it all last night, got the entire supporting cast involved on all around committed team effort, but tonight marks the back end of back-to-backs for both teams. Well, yes, it does. Uh, well, Joe Harris, give me a nice <laughs> pat on the head there. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> if, if this team has the energy that Joe has, then everybody's going to be in good shape. If they have the preparation that my partner, the Hall of Famer, Rebecca Lobo, has, then they're going to be in good shape. I think one thing that was key from last night, heading into tonight, in addition to just this team finally feeling good about itself, playing with the spirit, even outside of the distractions, playing the game with a spirit that you can feel good about, was that they didn't really tally high minute totals you know that was a huge problem for them last season when it came to back-to-backs Kevin Durant playing 41 42 minutes and then trying to win the next night Rebecca for me that's one of the keys where why you feel good going into this back-to-back -back because nobody was overtaxed thanks to the way they played in Washington and you know Ryan it's not only about the minutes you play but it's about the type of team that you play if you play a physical bruising team then in the second game after the back-to-back -back, your body feels Feels that and it makes you more tired Charlotte played against Memphis a physical bruising team the Nets played against Washington that was more of a free-flowing game there, there there was a lot more space guys getting up and down easier on the body when you play that way it'll be interesting to see what it looks like tonight with these two teams coming together how about the way the Nets are handling the point guard position right now, Rebecca? Because one of the things that really struck me last night was the playmaking of Sumner. Maybe he didn't have the assist, but he was able to get into the paint, right? Create some traffic, kick it out, spray it around. Cam Thomas, who his playmaking has been a real focus. It was a focus of Steve Nash's before, obviously, the parting of ways. It's a focus of the entire coaching staff, something that... Jock Vaughn talked about being a sign of maturity. We really saw that from him as well. How about the ways, Rebecca, that the Nets tried to kind of use a, a wider cast of playmakers with no Kyrie and no Ben? It, well, how about how ready these guys were? You know, Sumner had been getting some minutes uh, since Ben Simmons was hurt, but Cam Thomas hadn't been playing very much at all. And both guys came in, were ready, and play a different so style. You just look at their body types, and you know that they're going to be different. And it's always kind of nice when your starting point guard goes out there and does one thing. Sumner doesn't really take very many threes he certainly doesn't hasn't made many threes this season but he pushes the pace and he gets in the lane and he puts pressure on the defense that way and then you bring in Thomas a little bit bigger a little bit stronger a guy who can make threes it just uh, makes it a little more challenging for the defense when you have two different styles like that one of the things I'm interested to see tonight Ryan is with Seth Curry back what what does the rotation look like because in the one game he played he was the first guy in off the bench but it would be hard for, for them not to have Cam Thomas be the first guy in tonight based on the way he played yesterday. It's a great point. It's exactly where I was thinking of going with you now here, partner, is that role for Seth Curry as well. Not only when does he come in, but how much ball handling does he do? Because last season, what we saw from Seth, while the Nets were decimated at the point guard position, we saw Seth Curry have to act as the one for them for extended periods of time. Is that going to have to be his role here, even as he's just trying to get acclimated health-wise, rhythm-wise, after having just one game under his belt? Do you feel like, okay, maybe you don't have to force that on him right away based on what you saw yesterday? It's interesting because there's no obvious choice for who's your true ball handler, but what you saw last night gives you some encouragement about how the Nets are going to be able to do this by committee in this short term without Ben Simmons and without Kyrie Irving, however long that ends up being. And Ryan, before we let you go, one more question here. You know, this is Rebecca's third game with us. We're just kind of getting to know her, and you've known her for quite some time. So give us a little boost. Give us a little nudge here. What can you tell us about her that we don't yet know? Well, I mean, if we want to go serious, <laughs> let's just talk about Rebecca's preparation, okay? The way she has been consuming Nets film since she knew she was going to be taking this job has been remarkable. The phone call she's made. But if we want to be more humorous and silly, 
we will talk about a word she's going to use at some point during the game tonight, Nancy, and I want you to be ready. Rebecca's going to turn to you and she's going to say, I'm feeling a little peckish, and it means she's hungry. <laughs> and Nancy, I know in your office you have snacks galore, so get them ready to go because my partner's going to need them for fuel to get through this night, okay? York peppermint patties coming right up. Okay, one more quick thing, though. Fair is fair. Rebecca, we've known Ryan, obviously, for a very long time, but you guys travel together sometimes, so please give us a little insight there. Well, I think one of the things that people need to understand is that I'm a very tall woman. I am 6'4". <laughs> Ryan would say he's an average height man. When we are calling games, he sits on a cushion that is about this thick. And you'll see it in that bottom right corner. How is Ryan Rucco taller than me? By the way, look at him with all that hair. How is Ryan Rucco taller than me as we're sitting down, getting to ready to call a game? And Ryan, just if I was there, I would be like Joe Harris right now, and I'd be rubbing your head for good luck. Have a great call, buddy. <laughs> we like I, the bald I appreciate head. it. I'm feeling the head rub from afar. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. We like it. All right.